So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a posterior splint for let's say an ankle sprain or fifth metatarsal and you're worried about uh, leaving them without any kind of support and they're going to go to the clinic afterwards for follow-up. I always use my leg bolster. This is my go-to product. So days of old where they used to hang you off the bed and bend your knee, well this does it for me. It allows me to stay on top of my fracture, look at my alignments and apply my splint. Cut yourself a piece of slab, lift it up. You go from the metatarsal heads to just below the knee, three fingers. What we do here is you can measure where your the calcaneus sits, give a little mark. You don't have to do this, but if you're worried about somebody with pressure points, when you open it up, where your marks are, and you're just going to cut two little wings out. I like to get as much moisture out of there as possible. And a little trick I do for the bottom of the foot is I give this last little bit a turn. So I don't have to worry about cutting the edges. This is like a rib in the cast. It gives you support to the foot so that you don't have to worry about too much flexion. So you, you don't really need a second pair of hands when you do this because what you can do is you can lock distal part of the splint in just like this. A couple of wraps, get into the through the plantar arch. This is where the important part is, is straightening the cast prior to going up the leg. Because sometimes as you come up the leg, you find your cast is anterior or medial. Behind the leg, you don't worry about the ankle right at this point in time. Just go up the leg. Take your second one. Continue for where you left off on your first one. Now you're going to go back down the leg. At the bottom, where you have these wings, you're just going to tuck them in and fold them. That's when you pick this up. Now a lot of times people come in and their foot's in equinus. So it's a hard time to get their ankle up at 90 degrees. So grab a chair. And all you're going to do is get them to flex their knee, and you're going to slowly bring them up. You can put your thenar into the metatarsal arch and push if you have to, but the biggest thing for this to get them at 90 is you have to have them relaxed. If their quadricep muscles are tight, they're not going to get their ankle at 90 degrees. So we just hold it here and wait till the clasp hardens. And this is still a non-weight bearing? This is a non-weight bearing split.